Chi Clean Eats. Today we're making a dessert. Aren't you excited? We all love desserts, but this one is healthy, delicious, and it's a little bit fancy. Today we're making a raspberry protein souffle. That's right, guys. And there's actually not that many ingredients, so you don't have to be intimidated, and you can very easily impress your friends, your family, or your significant other with this sexy recipe. So what we're gonna need today is a scoop of strawberry protein powder. Now this is optional, you don't have to have it, but if you really want that little bit of extra muscle building protein, add that in. We also have six ounces of fresh raspberries. Now raspberries literally are my favorite. Also, a quarter cup and a tablespoon of sugar substitute, like a stevia or truvia or something like that, zero calorie sweetener. Four egg whites set at room temperature, and that's pretty much it. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So what you wanna do first is actually blend up your raspberries. So I'm gonna take them and place them right in here. And then place it onto our blender. Okay, make sure it's tight. And as you can see, it is nice and smooth and also full of raspberry seeds. If you really love raspberry seeds, like go for it, you can leave it in there. But I want my souffle to be really soft and non-crunchy. So I'm actually going to strain it. And what you wanna do is grab a strainer, put a little bowl underneath and simply pour it in there. Oh. The smell is just literally like freshness. It, it's so good. I wanna just drink that. All right. And look at that color. Completely natural, beautiful. And you wanna take a spoon and then simply go like this so that you can really get all that juice out because otherwise it's gonna kinda of get stuck and clogged. As you can see, all the seeds right here are coming together. And you probably wanna do this for about like a minute or something. Okay, so look at that. That's all seeds. So now that you have your fresh raspberry puree, what you wanna do is add in your strawberry protein powder as well as your tablespoon of stevia. So this is for some extra sweetness to cover up that tartness from the berry. And then the protein powder, of course, like I said, for that muscle building component. Now this puree is going to be folded in with our egg whites. I'll show you how to do that later. Right now, let's just mix it. First of all, we need to separate our egg whites. Make sure you don't get any yolk in here because this is how we're gonna get those stiff peaks, okay guys? So, be very careful. And this is my technique. I like to play the egg white separating game and kind of shuffle it back and forth like so until I get most of that egg white out. Sometimes I get really obsessed with this. All right, and once the yolk breaks, you can stop. Like, it's totally okay. One here, three more to go. Now that our egg whites are separated, we get to beat them. I have my little beater right here and you wanna go high, you wanna go hard, okay? You go intense and make sure you get those peaks. So here it goes. As you can see, it looks very fluffy and creamy right now. So at this point, I'm going to add in my quarter cup of sugar substitute right here for that sweetness. Love it. And then we're just gonna beat it a little bit more, okay? Now you wanna beat it until basically you can turn the bowl upside down and it won't fall out, okay? So let's keep going. All right, we're gonna give it three, two, and one. Let's see if we get the stiff peaks here. Ooh, look at that, so professional. It's looking so good. It's not coming out, look at that guys. Amazingness. Okay, so this part is crucial, okay? You don't want to overdo it. What you want to do is fold some of this raspberry sauce in there, okay? So we're gonna do half at a time, just to make sure we get the feel of it. And I'm just gonna spoon some of this in right here. So we're gonna gently fold this in, okay? Just like that. Very gentle. So guys, you wanna go underneath and fold it over just like so. Now I'm gonna put the other half in. I'm gonna unite everybody together. Then get to bake. And 
again, let's fold. Honestly, guys, this is so beautiful. Look at that. Is that not a masterpiece? It's gorgeous. If I stopped right here, I'd be so happy with myself. But no, we're gonna keep going. Okay, looks like we are just about ready to add this into our little glass bowls or ramekins. So I have four of them right here. And first, I'm gonna spray them to make sure they don't stick. Right here. And this is my coconut spray. Oh, it smells so good. Now it's like getting all over me. Ooh, I'm gonna smell like coconuts after this. And I'm just gonna fill them about three quarters of the way and if we have extra, we'll fill her up. Oh, this is like scooping dreams into a bowl. This is just like, my goodness, heavenly, heavenly. Okay guys, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the pan. And if you like chocolate, what you can do is add in some chocolate chips at this point. I hear they taste really good. So if you do end up making this recipe and sprucing it up a little bit, be sure to hashtag Cheap Clean Eat so I can see your version of the strawberry protein souffle. Now we're gonna put them in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 13 minutes, 12 to 13 minutes, until they rise up, okay? So I'll see you over there. Le danse, ha ha ha. Le dernier souffle de ta vie. disasters in the history of cheap clean eats. So we're gonna have to pay our respects to the souffle. I am so sorry it didn't end too easy for you, but you know what? You'll have your spotlight right now. We'll always believe in you. Guys, let's please give a moment of silence for Mr. Souffle. We got his three buddies right here. One was a little bit traumatized, so he's a little bit lower, but you know what? No disrespect, like don't discriminate. They still taste really, really good. Um, now, when I first took them out, they're actually quite high because we had the disaster. They have deflated since, but honestly, still really good. Now, what I wanna do before I go into the taste test is I do wanna drizzle it with a little bit of fresh raspberry sauce that I had left over. So just gonna drizzle them on top just like that. Add some beautiful color. Oh, that red is just mesmerizing, and then I'll do these guys too. Now guys, you are going to be blown away by these macros. So this looks like a ton of food, right? But check this out, 65 calories for this souffle. You've got 11 grams of protein, two grams of net carbs from the raspberries actually, zero grams of fat, and only $1.35 for this baby, and it looks like a million bucks. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go to the tasting throne. Well guys, I hope you really enjoyed that recipes. I know there were some ups and downs in this episode, but I wanted to show you everything. Sometimes accidents do happen in the kitchen, and I did not want to delete that because that was for real, and I really freaked out when my souffle went to the grave. But you know what, we paid our respects, and I feel like everything will be okay. So let me know in the comments below what recipe you want to see next, and also be sure to hashtag Cheap Clean Eats when you make your raspberry protein souffle, because I want to see how fluffy yours gets, okay? So until then, I will see you next time. Be sure to train hard and eat clean. I'll see you later. Bye. Mwah. And I love how the iceberg is just like a little handful and you can just like stuff it. So easy. And this is why it's easy to take to school, easy to take to work, because you can just like wrap it up. 
See that? Look, it's a gem. I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple more. Mm -hmm. 